Hey there, everybody. Alongside TJ Calkins, Jay Sannon here with ATS, getting you ready for the UFC Vegas 46 card. And TJ, I know you have two bets on the card. We'll talk a little bit about the main event as well. But first, I want to focus in on those two plays that you have. And we will start out with Joseph Holmes taking on Jamie Pickett. Holmes, a minus 150 favorite coming into this fight. Fight minus 150 to end inside the distance. What say you on this bet? Well, I like the newcomer here. And before we even dive into this fight, it, it was kind of a depressing couple of days because this card really shrunk. We're down to 10 fights. We had four bets laid out. And then yesterday, as I'm writing these things, uh, TJ Brown gets a new opponent. He goes from a very live, awesome underdog to a favorite. So we lose that. And then uh, Gomez Juarez, uh, her fight gets moved to next week. So we lost that one too. And we'll just have to reevaluate uh, versus the rest of the uh, – fights if we're going to play that one so yeah we're down to two but uh back to joseph holmes uh I, I i do really like the newcomer here and it's more that i don't really care for jamie pickett he just he doesn't really do anything he has no differentiating quality uh differentiating qualities uh he, he's just kind of inactive at times uh the one thing pickett will have going for him here is he's a southpaw fighting uh holmes who Started as a grappler, but his striking has come a long way. Uh, he's, Holmes has a lot of submissions to his record. Make no mistake, he has a big advantage on the floor here, and I think he's going to get this fight down, and I think that's at least uh, resistance. But the orthodox versus southpaw nature of this fight, I think he's going to hinder the jab of Holmes, so he might have to rely on power a little bit more. And he does have more power, but uh, he might just have to let his hands go, force his way inside, get the fight down. Either way, uh, I, I don't think we get a ton of value on the ITD line going from minus 150 to plus 150. So I just like Holmes flat. I think he uh, takes a fight. And I, I really don't think Pickett is long for the UFC roster, even though he got a win in his last fight. TJ, I want to get your thoughts now on the heavyweight bout between Jake Collier and Chase Sherman. Collier, a minus 130 favorite in this matchup. Who do you think wins this heavyweight clash? Uh, I like Collier. And... Uh, Hey, Sherman, man, he's a guy I've, I've done very well betting against. Uh, this is his second UFC tenure, and it could be coming to an end here. Um, he's 3-7 and seven in the promotion. Uh, he, the three wins, two of which are against Ike Villanueva and Rashad Coulter, guys who have been cut from the roster, but most notably two 205ers that have been cut from the roster that when he fought them, they fought up at heavyweight. They were extremely undersized. Um, the other, I, the other opponent is escaping me. It was a fighter that went zero and three in the promotion. It was cut. So Sherman has never beaten a UFC heavyweight uh, that has won a fight or won a heavyweight fight, I should say. So we are back to Callier, who has won at heavyweight. Uh, it looked kind of bleak for him when he came back at heavyweight. And his physique totally different. You know, he went from middleweight to heavyweight after the absence. And, you know, he's not the most uh, in shape looking guy. And he got starched by Aspinall in that return fight. But he's been fine since. I I, I thought he uh, beat Philippe in the uh, last fight. And he has another win on his record. And neither of these guys have any real power. So volume is going to be king here. I don't think we're going to see any grappling. If we do, it'll be from Collier. Uh, Collier is going to be the busier striker. Sherman is far more hittable. Collier is more durable, and he has a better gas tank despite the appearance of their physiques. So I, I think it's a really, really good price, minus 130 on Collier, and he's my favorite bet on this. And, TJ, I want to get your thoughts on the main event here. Uh, Giga Chikadze taking on Calvin Cater. Of course, Chikadze, a man known to kick people in the vital organs. Do you think he accomplishes that goal here? Yeah, I do. Uh, I, I think the minus 240 price is a little steep, uh, which I think makes Cater actually the better value, but Giga is definitely more likely to win here. Uh, Cater's kind of struggled against uh, distant strikers. He lost to Zabit. Uh, he lost to Hanato Moicano uh, a couple of years ago. And obviously his last fight was the massacre uh, from Max Holloway. But let's be honest, no one was going to beat Max that night. He was just absolutely perfect and just put out an absolute show. But it, it seems like Cater struggles more with uh, strikers that can keep that distance and be successful. He's a better boxer, but I don't think he's going to get the boxing fight he wants. So I would pick Giga to win this fight. I just don't think he value on the fighting line. 
get more from TJ on these fights. Go to ATS.io, get his full thoughts on these fights. You do not want to miss them. TJ, thank you for your expertise. Of course, we'll be back next week for the big one. Another UFC. Yes, sir, that'll be a fun one. Oh, it's going to be a fun one. Pay-per-view. You do not want to miss that. Until then, TJ Calkins, Jay Sand, and Saint. See you later. Good luck on your UFC bets all weekend long.